Same place. I haven't even put the engine down. Um, today, getting an early start. It's about 7.30 in the p.m. Sun's going away, got bad lighting. But I got this headlamp, like you saw. So I'm just gonna kind of pick up where I left off. I cleaned out this nasty area a little bit with some purple power in the bag. Um, instead of trying to fight this anymore, I think I'm just gonna drop the subframe down. I'll see if I can just loosen the bolts and not fully remove it because um, that seems better. I do have to replace this rack. This is a manual rack. You see this missing thing? I don't like that. Because when I converted from power to manual, I didn't realize all of these components are different. I didn't have time to get the right stuff. So now I'm looking for this discontinued grommet. Uh, anyways, and this rack has play on the inner tie rod on the passenger side. I don't know if it's the rack or the tie rod, but whatever, I'm just gonna, um, there's play there, I promise. I'm just gonna swap it out at the store. The parts store. You guys wanna see something bad? See this bolt hole? There's a welded nut on the inside usually, but I used too long of a bolt once and I wasn't thinking, and I tightened just a little once the bolt had backed against the other side of the frame rail, and it pulled the welded nut away. Ah! Luckily I was still able to unscrew it without much of a headache. Um, so, I did this thing, instead of like chopping a hole and welding the screw, I drilled a hole here and have a nut and a washer. I don't like that it squeezes the the frame rail when you tighten it and uh, I think my alignment was straight I mean my car drove straight but I did have the alignment done by a newbie but look full left lock it rubs here and this is a steering rack designed for this car the wheels are from a ITR but anyways full left lock also here Hopefully, once I get a new rack and another alignment for like the hundredth time in this car, uh, it'll be all good there. So, I'm gonna do that. Drop the rack to get this out. I might just drop this um, steering rack because it needs to be done at some point. And I didn't even tell you why I was doing this, getting rid of the fuel lines, because I'm upgrading the fuel lines of course to fuel lines that will work with the 85 so I'll probably kind of mock up today and figure out how well I run them back to the tank and last night I was really tired so I didn't explain but the reason I dropped the tank was because there's a fuel line going um, I could see it here where it goes to the top of the tank but I couldn't <sighs> access it. It was, it was feeding in right here and then up into here and I didn't want to just break it out. The tank was in the way so I removed the gas tank just to get this out. I kind of broke some stuff. All of this is really brittle old plastic like this is a stay for this brake line, right rear brake line and it's supposed to secure onto this. Which bolt's there? Anyways. Um, wicked tuning. My factory trailing arm bushings are. Man, this lighting, I tell you what. They're getting a little crusty. Not bad. Usually they're just trash from the get go. But when you get these old Hondas, but. My stuff here is dirty. Got the teen slash tine whatever flexi coilovers, and then these are K Sport um, lower control arms, and the bushings are probably on their way out there. Um, this is a factory SI rear sway bar. This thing is a 32 millimeter uh, CTR five lug swappage. And look at all that stuff. I'd like to know exactly what and why about all that, but I don't think I'm gonna invest the time to figure it out so yeah I don't have a jack stand 
bad person, but I got some some wheels under there next to my jacket. It's pretty sketchy, but I'm all right. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna come up in here. I'm probably gonna remove this driver's side fender. See, I tucked the passenger side um, headlight wire harness a while ago. Um, it's now hiding back here. Um, I'll probably remove both fenders because I need to clean up these headlights. I'm going to order different HIDs and ballasts and stuff. And I need to wire them all tucked like and stuff. Um, so both fenders off, both headlights off, which, which that means both side skirts off. Let's take the whole car apart. I'm going to remove the slave cylinder hard line because I'll just, I'm going to buy a braided steel one off of the interwebs um, just to clean things up. And my battery I put in the trunk recently, and I need to clean all that up. There, there it is, but I'm looking for a real nice stealth install. Um, see my ground just goes to the stud, which goes drills through and is connected to the body. It's pretty nice. I only have to have one wire that comes out. See, here's my power wire right there. It's going to go... I'm gonna drill a hole in the box. I got this cool fitting right here, which, hold on. Okay. Here is this cool fitting. Um, I'm gonna drill a hole in the box and you unscrew this nut, put it through, there's a rubber uh, O-ring, you tighten it up, this seals against four gauge wire. I'm gonna run a four gauge battery wire. Anyways, the point of this box is a sealed battery box to vent the gases that the battery offputs. So that will be sealed. And then on the other side of this box, I'm gonna have mounted a breaker. Um, and then from the breaker, the power wire will run up to the fuse box, which is in the glove box. But it'll run near there where I'll have a junction, a power junction for different things. One main four gauge wire will go to the fuse box. And yeah, anyways, lots of information. I got this, this is the battery wire I'll use. It feels pretty cheap um, as far as the rubber around it is kind of smushy. I'm not super thrilled, but it'll be all right. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't contact anything. So, I'm gonna get to work. Oh, also, here's my exhaust. My muffler shop that I used to go to, they, they hooked me up with a one-piece exhaust. How many people got a one-piece exhaust? Woo, pretty cool, right? You wanna remove your head or you gotta drop your, your lower control arm? Yep, there's the 98 plus JDM ITR header welded. Because that flange is huge, and I was having a pain in the ass time trying to buy a mating flange. And then shit just got hacked, different things, it's just, it's no good. But this is a side, it was born in a Pexi World Sport 1 exhaust. The muffler is still that, at least, but, yep. I'm probably going to use this as a template to replicate, you know, another exhaust, 3-inch exhaust for the car. I also have these B, uh, B, 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 R, W, black work, B, R, B, W, R. Um, it's fear cool. <laughs> Bushing um, rear camera kits. They're kind of cool. And Brembo brake pads. So you know it's a race car. So, oh, and um, I'm not gonna, not gonna fake it. This is a, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That is a fake. Bought it on eBay, they're selling it as real. It's fake. I kind of figured it was by the price, but um, I'm a bad person because I bought a fake part. Don't be a bad person. Okay. Here I go.